Me again. Easy now. Can you leave me alone? Now, would you just leave?
Good looking horse there. If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. Good saddles is almost as important as a good horse. Adding on to a saddle helps personalize it. more. you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? Ah! Ah! What was that? <sighs> Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you. Get out of here. John Marston! It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You... you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She... She's fine. <laughs> She was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy us a property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff, good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. <coughs> oh, it's legal, um, usually. Then... Maybe. Come on, then. 
What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Come on, we got a bit of a ride. I know. Good morning. There was a blowout in the store. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Now we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I got Uncle with me. We'll be okay. Uncle? Well, getting the scalp by that gang out there might be preferable than living with him. Sometimes I think the same. Hi there. Can I help you, partner? Yeah, I'm looking for a fella, a New Yorker, name of Nathan Kirk. Never heard of him. We get a lot of New Yorkers. It's a resort town, you see. I'm sure. Try in the Welcome Center. They tend to know most of the visitors there. Thank you. seen a fella? A fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s s sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a f <gasps> Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! So, you got him? Oh, shut up! Come on, jump on! We gotta get after him! Remember, we want him alive, though! I know!
there. Now calm yourself. Get off me. Tie him up then. I don't deserve this treatment. Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I'm, I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. Are you, are you married, sir? None of your business what I am. She made me do it. She broke me. I did bad, but I'm not bad. There is a different... Uh, what now? Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Send it on my behalf to West Elizabeth Cooperative Bank in Blackwater. Pay down my loans. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So no, I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. All right, girl. Working hard? <clears throat> it's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! Ow! I I I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I went into town. Uh, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Uh, oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to San Denis. Charles! Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good, neither.
Here we are. Come on, let's get off. All right. Yeah. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah, well, me neither. <sighs> All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. <sighs> let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons, you take the slum. Yeah, uh, how about I take the saloons, and you take the slums? Bonjour. How can I help you today, sir? Listen, you seen a big Indian fella? Huh. Indian? Yeah. A boxer. No. Sorry, mister. No. Actually, yes. He, I think he's fighting, I believe. Fighting out behind Saint Saturnin. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem. I would head along that way. Stay at your inn. Just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Ask that first barman I met. He told me Charles was here. <laughs> Not Folks, one of life's great love mysteries, surprise. turns out. They hate a massacre. And you are a killer. We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. Oh, So's he. That's Uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I... I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man. I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Ladies sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you? An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not so noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an engine Hercules. The savage, the untamable, 
the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, Lone Wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. So it goes. It's your share, partner. We just made the bed I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few urns to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. This way. Uh, my bag's on the dockside. So, what happened? You mean back then? Uh, Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel, with some of his things in it. Remember that journal? He always drew in. I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. Make it well, he wasn't a good man. None of us were. But uh, maybe he was true to himself. Him and his code. <laughs> that pig-headed bastard. You get sick like that, I guess you... You gotta cling to something. He was hoping to come out of it. Hope was about all he had left. Maybe all any of us have. Hmm. Anyway, I heard all of you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but... One thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since... Well... That time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sissica. They picked up Strauss. The agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened, all those deaths, Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem. Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> you couldn't have thrown that fight! I'll get my 
my back. Okay. chance we have of denying it at least no we can't get caught martelli has the police chief in his pocket if they take us in we won't get out of the interview room i don't want to get a shootout over this that's not the man i try to be anymore no i don't want that either you see anything <sighs> i think we're clear if i ever want to go back remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple. John! Charles! <laughs> you boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> Feels like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. There he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired $2 whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail, I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house that a lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. OK. On me. Wouldn't be no 
trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? Uh, there's a fellow by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's going to tell you that? Just need what? a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. 